Well, hi, this is uh, Chase, and uh, in this video, some people have asked how I create images and use uh, transparent files, uh, transparent GIFs, or transparent PNG files, such as this Unify Affiliate uh, file. How I use these in uh, my graphics and, you know, just basically uh, how to make things look really cool. Because, frankly, I think this looks very cool when you have a transparent PNG file. It's just the name of a file. It's a type of file, but it's transparent. Uh, it's not white or black behind the words and the logo. It's clear. It's transparent. So um, I've done this a lot. I, I create a lot of images. Images are very powerful, and uh, I do this in Keynote, which is a program. Uh, you probably know more about PowerPoint because that's the Microsoft uh, version of a presentation software. Well, I use Apple's presentation software, Keynote, and I can create really nice uh, graphic images. Uh, a lot of these I use on YouTube thumbnail images and other things like that. Uh, also for Facebook and for my Facebook group. Uh, but in this case, I had a question on how do I actually do that? So I'm going to actually go ahead and show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is create a new slide. Again, I'm in Keynote. It's a presentation software, uh, just like PowerPoint. You can al also do this in Google Drive for free. Uh, Google Drive is a presentation software, and it's free to use, and so it's a little bit different because it's online, but you can still use it for free. Now, I'm going to go up and pull up my uh, images on my hard drive. And I have a, um, I use iStock Photo. Um, over the years, I've downloaded, they used to have free downloads for all sorts of images that I've always used or I've used many, many times. I mean, they're just fun images. And I used to download them for free, but now um, there's, they don't do that as much. So, but all these images I would uh, use for my business. And you can see this one I used earlier. Um, and they come in different sizes and things like that. But um, let me go down and let's just figure out a new image. And actually, let's see here. Let's, I, I really like this image. Uh, the Superman over the city type thing. Um, and so let's drop that in. So basically I have images, pictures that I either uh, got online or downloaded. And, and this one I actually paid for. You can actually uh, buy images that are free of copyright. So I have use, permission to use this image, however I like. And certainly, yes, it costs some money, but um, I like the image. It says a lot. And so uh, let's go ahead and use this. I'm going to drop it, drag and drop, and I get a green plus. And then um, it moves over to Keynote, and I can just drop it. And it will size it automatically for, look at that, the width. See how that worked? Uh, Keynote's a, a brilliant program. It knows pretty much what I'm thinking, <laughs> which is nice. So, uh, yes, I have a lot of white up here, but my image is uh, kind of a long panorama style. Okay. Now, what I also have on my hard drive is I downloaded... A uh, picture, uh, you know this uh, this uh, file. It's a PNG file, and I'm going to find it here. It's under Unify, and it's called um, doo -doo -doo, Unify Affiliate. Now, if you look at it, it's it's a lot of white. If I blow it up, you can begin seeing um, what it's doing. It's transparent. It, it doesn't have any color in between the words, and the logo is transparent in between the two blocks okay so it doesn't look so good right now but when I drag it on top of this file uh, and drop it now the, now the magic begins happening okay so now I can position this and um, you know it's it's not bad is it I mean it's it really isn't so uh, but I we're blocking some images or part of this image, which I think is really cool. And I'm thinking maybe I could have the Unify affiliate logo right up in here. So I can click on it. You get uh, points on the ends of, of, of the outline of the image. This is where the image ends. Okay. So I can drag a corner of it. And notice I get that 
uh, dotted orange line, 45 degree, it just shows me that it's keeping it in proportion, okay? So I can just go along like this. So this could be maybe like a Facebook cover page um, and something like that. Although I wouldn't, I wouldn't put this on my Facebook cover page. It'd be great for a Facebook support group for uh, those of us that are in Unify. So now I put the logo in a darker area. It just washes out if I put it right there, obviously. It's kind of white on bright sun and it just doesn't work. So I could even try it over here, okay? It definitely shows there and as soon as I click away on the white, it says, oh, uh, you're not gonna mess with me anymore. Um, let me just show you how it looks. So that looks, actually, I really like that a lot, don't you? <laughs> so, um, and I'll just fine tune it and just drag it right into the corner. And then basically I'm done. Now, what I really want to do is create a screenshot, okay? So those of you on PCs, it's uh, you got to use the software or the clipping tool or something to that nature. But on a Mac, you can press Command Shift 4. And you can see my crosshair is turned into, well, my mouse is turned into a crosshair. This allows me to um, get right to the edge, okay, right there, because I want this whole image. I'm going to drag across. I'm defining the area that I want my computer to take a, a, a screenshot of, and just right in this area, and I click, or I just release after I um, define that area. I go back to my desktop. Um, screenshots are always put on the uh, desktop. And it was the last one here. And here it is. So if I hit the space bar, there is my image. The Unify Affiliate is finalized. It's on the image. Okay. But it's transparent. Okay. Now let me just go and show some other things. Um, let's say that I'm on, uh, I want to find some images. Uh, you have to be somewhat careful but let's say you want to put a youtube logo or a google image or uh, something like that and i'm going to do transparent you can look for a youtube logo and then from that define it even more transparent or a png png means it's some it can be transparent i'll just click on transparent so it looks like a lot of these are like geez it's white well it's really not. Um, a lot of these are, oh, that's, uh, that's not one. So let's click on it. Okay, see the X's? That defines transparency. So this one is transparent. So what I could do is move my Chrome browser over. Okay. And then I, I have to click right on the image, not on the transparency of it, but on the image. And then I can drag. And on a Mac, you can just drag it over and drop it. Okay, so now if I wanted to um, somehow, you know, signify something about Unify, being a Unify affiliate and having YouTube videos, this would be a nice way. Now the U, the black is really kind of getting lost there because it's so dark. Um, so, um, you know, you could try some different things. I, you know, that's a possibility, although we're really blocking this guy a lot. But do you see how a uh, transparent PNG file, it's it's really awesome. And you just move it around to where you like it. And uh, I'm just I'm just going to do this for demonstration purposes. And and I, I moved it right there. Do you see the 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 uh, up the uh, vertical and horizontal yellow lines help me center it? which is really nice, okay? So you can also just center it vertically or center it horizontally. As long as you get that yellow line going through it, it's centering it horizontally. And then doing both will mean it is centered. Now, I'm, I'm not as wild about that, but I'm just showing you uh, other logos. So let's just take that off. And uh, let's just say you wanted to do something else. Let's look for, um, I don't know, a family image um, and logo, not necessarily, but family with a transparent background. Background, okay. See, that's that's going to have a transparent background, um, and so something like this. You could drag this off. Realize, oh, that's interesting. That didn't quite work, did it? Okay, so it's really not a PNG. Uh, it appears to be a transparent, uh, but the thumbnail that they provided us.
is maybe more of a screenshot of it. Um, and some of these are are going to be images you have to purchase, and that's why they don't um, allow you to. Well, let's just try this one. Nope, they're actually doing screenshots of the image, so those uh, checkerboards are actually in it. So um, it's hard. <laughs> not hard, but you need to be <clears throat> respectful of the companies and the photographers that create images like this, and you can only need you can only really use images that are copyright protected. And the way to do that is go under more um, or actually settings, and go to advanced search, and it's a little bit different um, usage right. Not filtered by license, so free to use, share, modify, or even uh, even commercially. So that little option means that you can use the images that you find on a Google search. So now I'm doing this advanced search. So all of these now are different. Okay. So let's just uh, let's try something here. Sometimes you need to click on the image and then, yep. See the checkerboards come in. This is transparent. So I, I could use this. It doesn't quite fit for this use of this image, but do you see how it's transparent behind them? Obviously you do. So if it's too big, I could resize it. By the way, um, Keynote has sized it perfectly top to bottom for the size of my um, area that I'm planning to use. So it's perfectly sized, but in this case, I want to bring it down just a little more. Okay. And so this shows again, you probably want to put it in an area <laughs> that where the feet don't get lost and eh, it's not bad there. Okay. So as you can tell, this doesn't quite fit with the unified logo, but it does show you what transparency does. It shows you how you can move things around. If you're on a PC, you might have to copy and uh, I don't know if it does drag and drop on uh, PowerPoint. Uh, or if you can drag and drop on Google Drive, but you can drag and drop on a Mac uh, using Keynote. So that's pretty much it. A PNG file means it's transparent, and um, you can move it around, and, and the the transparent areas will not show anything, and you can go, it'll show behind, okay? So that's how I create these wonderful graphics, and uh, just sharing how you can do the same. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.